two weeks ago, the White House announced the release of 30 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Now, the idea was to force oil prices down, but today the price of crude is actually higher. And CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is here to tell us why and what it means for gas prices. Rebecca, good morning. Hey, Chris. The government hadn't done this since Katrina back in 2005, but what has this done for gas prices now that they've gone back into the Strategic Reserve? Well, this is really the problem because dipping into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve hasn't really created the kind of oomph for American consumers that they were looking for. Initially, what happened is that gasoline prices at the pump dropped about a nickel. But now all of a sudden you see them going back up. They are climbing again. And that is a problem as far as keeping prices lower. Because the whole idea behind this was we'll take some out of the strategic petroleum reserve and we'll yeah. push prices down. Well, now they're going back up again. Well, let's talk about driving habits for Americans right now. Because, you know, according to AAA, the current national average is 358. It's mm -hmm. still way up. Yeah, it's still more than 80 cents than it higher than it was last year. And that's a problem as well. But Americans are dealing with that in an interesting way. They are cutting back on their own driving for 15 straight weeks. MasterCard spending pulse data shows that American consumers have cut back on their gasoline consumption. So we have seen demand drop in light of these higher prices. Okay, so demand's coming down, but then why are, why are the prices still continuing to move on the rise? When you look at what we did when we withdrew from the SPR. It was really just a drop in the bucket. The entire Strategic Petroleum Reserve has 727 million barrels of oil yeah. in it. We withdrew 30 million barrels. We are withdrawing that 30 million barrels over the next month. What happened, though, is that that 30 million barrels is really just a drop in the bucket when you consider how much oil we use on a daily basis in this country. It's 18 million barrels. So if you think about that number, it really only gets us by for about a day and a half. Okay, let's talk about China here for a second. Most people don't realize that China not the U.S. is the world's leading consumer of oil. How, I mean, their gas consumption, how is that affecting, I mean, is that affecting the way we are at the pump? Here it is States? having a huge impact, and it's one of the major factors that drives the price of what we here in the United States pay at the pump. The reason being, China consumes about 20.3% of all the world's energy. The United States consumes 19%. So like you said, they're a much bigger energy consumer. They are growing in the Chinese economy. They're growing so fast that they're consuming more, and that is driving up the price of oil here. Okay, big big picture right now with the people at home want to know what's it going to do to our pumps here and the gas prices here? Will there be any relief anytime soon? With well, all this? In China, fast? they're concerned about the fact that they're just growing too fast. So they've actually taken steps five times in the last eight months to cool their economy, okay. something called increasing their interest rates there. They've done that to cool their economy, and the hope is that by doing so, they will actually soften some of the demand there for oil, and in return, we'll be paying a little bit less at the pump by the end of the summer. Last question for you, market impact here. What you see is when oil prices go up, and this is interesting, when oil prices go up, our markets tend to go higher because oil helps companies like ExxonMobil, which are big major companies that trade here. So it's an interesting impact. You can still be paying more at the pump and feel the pinch as a consumer, but certain companies like those oil companies yeah. are going to do better when those prices go higher. All right, Rebecca Jarvis, thank you very much.